Welcome to my car. This is a 2011 BMW 320D. It's a two liter four cylinder turbo diesel. Um, I'm basically going to be doing a series on what it's like to live with this car, what it's like to own it, what it's like to drive, things to look out for, and basically anything you might need to know. So you might be wondering why did I choose this particular car. This is an E90. It's a 2011 M Sport trim. It doesn't mean much the M Sport trim, it just means you get some some nicer body panels, bumpers, um, rear bumper, nice wheels. I bought this car a year and a half. It's on, we're almost going on two years now. And at the time for me, it was the best bang for buck I could get. Um, as the video is titled, it's a 2011 M Sport 320D LCI, which means facelift. This one is a manual. When I first bought the car, it had about 80,000 kilometers on it, which was really nothing considering the fact that all other second hand um, models that I've seen available have quite high mileage. So I was quite happy to find one um, that was still so fresh, so to say. At the time of purchasing this car, I was sort of looking at cars in this range. I had just graduated from university, I had just gotten married as well. So, I needed something a bit more serious than what I was driving at the time. I needed a lot of value for my money because my pockets weren't that deep. I needed something that would allow me to actively participate in the local car scene and I just, I needed a very good all-round package. and. I heard from quite a few people that the E90s were good value for money. I know some of the petrol engines had their issues, but the 320D came highly recommended. And when this one came across my path at the price that it did, it was sort of a no-brainer. The car was very clean, especially mechanically, which was important for me. Um, you know, things on the outside, um, visual things, you can repair those in time. But a good sound mechanical car is going to be worth a lot more to you in the long run. So I ended up buying this 320D and I'll be going into a lot more detail later on as to what to look for when you buy a new one. But for today we're just driving. Upon purchasing the car, I noticed that there were a few things that had been neglected over time. I'd done my research, you have a look at forums, you tend to, you tend to try and find out what other people have experienced. and first thing I had to do was do a good service on the car. I just needed to take it to someone who who I found out to be very good with BMWs and who was very good with diesel BMWs. So I took it to a guy in Centurion and said to him, listen, I just bought the car. I don't know much about its history. Um, all I know is it needs a good service. Will you please have a look? So the car received a very good service. He recommended to me at the time that I maybe consider um, removing the cat from the exhaust just because over time especially in the diesels these can get quite clogged up and and sort of suffocate the car not too much but he said a bit of breathability out the back wouldn't be a bad idea so I did that we did the service and I was ready to start going I attended a car meet um, and breakfast run with the car for the first time really enjoyed it I was really quite surprised at how the car was performing and it, I pretty much fell in love there. I hadn't fallen in love straight away with the car, but it takes one good drive and it takes one interactive session to know, well, to me, it took one of those sessions to know that I was going to fall in love with this car. And I pretty much did. I never thought I would fall in love with a diesel. I was never a particularly big BMW fan, but it won me over as soon as we went for a nice drive and I was able to stretch her legs. But as we're driving right now, the car is running on Stage 2 Plus software. It's basically Stage 2. The plus only means that I've got a, a feature known as a hard cut limiter, which basically once you run out the revs, it just cuts the, it just cuts it um, in sort of, instead of getting that warm, 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 now you get and Other than that, it's the cat that I've removed on the exhaust and I've got some aftermarket wheels on the car which for me provide just a bit of a better look 
it's it's considered a racing wheel if you will um, so it's nice and light you you reduce your rotating mass on the wheels quite a bit and that's pretty much it I've kept it as stock as possible for as long as possible just because this is my daily driver I drive it every single day I am a teacher so I drive back and forth to school my wife and I tend to take trips in this car we've been to Cape Town um, and I just needed it to be reliable so I hadn't fiddled with the hardware at all really um, and I, I have to be honest it, it hasn't always felt necessary to do that because there's more than enough power that's very economical and it's very comfortable to drive um, and I feel like as soon as you start fiddling with hardware you open yourself up to to sort of uncertainties and I just wasn't willing to do that at the time you know maybe later on if you acquire another car and this one isn't the daily anymore then maybe you could have some fun with it but at the moment it's a uh, I just want to say it's perfect. that's it for today that's pretty much a summary of my e90 320d i hope you like what you saw if you did please like please subscribe and stay safe on the roads until next time